Action News reporter Caroline Spitznagel, and we're here today at Studio 620 for our Art of Boat Building and the Water is Wide exhibit. Today you're going to learn about the history and culture of building boats from Key West to Cedar Key. For those of you not from Florida, that basically means the entire Gulf Coast of Florida. Let's go take a look and see what they're doing inside. Alright, it's our third week at Studio 620 and we're here with Dave Ellis and we're going to talk to him about the importance of how this whole thing got put together. So would you like to tell us about what your expectations were for the whole project? We had a lot of expectations. What really sort of kicked the whole thing off was that my wife and I have been in St. Petersburg since 1986 and now it's 2007 and in all of those years there was never any of the institutions, the cultural institutions, that did anything to recognize the rich heritage of boat building, not only in St. Pete, but really on the whole west coast of Florida. And I'm a former windsurfer and a sailor and so on, so um, this has been an area of interest to me. And I thought that we would try to correct that. And what I wanted to do was start I didn't want to focus on today's plastic yachts. I wanted to, to tell more of a, a general story of boating and how, you know, just how they were used for transportation, for supplies, for all sorts of things. And we went all the way back here, as you can see, the wooden dugout um, and pictures of, of them. And um, so we, we found this. One of the folks here in town owns this thing. It's a 25 foot long mahogany piece of mahogany tree that they carved out in Honduras and we moved from there to um, this little one over here which I think is a really beautiful piece to then sort of homemade uh, kayaks up here and I knew I was going to get that painting it's by a, a nationally recognized internationally recognized painter Robert Stackhouse and he uses boat shapes for for a lot of his art is his inspiration so um, this same fellow that built this one built the other two as well and that's why I, I hung the framed one there then the last one's kind of a joke they live in Gulfport and they have a uh, recycled um, watercraft race every year and so he the cover of the skins actually uh, canvas painting that he found in somebody's trash can and the blades on the paddle are made from for sale signs so so it just it just kept going so from there we come to here which is a sort of a you can't see much of this here especially since it's hanging up in the air but um, this to me related directly back to the dugout because if you can see the other side there's all sorts of things that you can use it for. And then we went over here to this white one, white kayak, which is actually a racing kayak. And uh, to me, that is just, you, you can look at it from any, any place and it's just a very beautiful shape. So it was kind of from the dugout all the way up to the, to the racing. And then I knew I wanted to get an actual boat to be built in here. So we have this uh, Cuban refugee boat that's being rebuilt. In the back, Sea Quest Kids program is uh, building a boat, painting it purple and blue, and that'll be re ready to be given away fairly soon. We've got a children's area over here where little children can, uh, their parents or some of the high school volunteers can read stories to them and the kids can make, make up, or they may have already had some kind of a, a water experience. Plus there's a <clears throat> tank where they can use balloon powered or rubber band powered boats and have little races and so on. So it's kind of all this stuff and here are model makers. Which these, these fellows build from scratch. They see a boat they want to make and they just go get a piece of wood and they take off which to me is virtually the same thing as creating sculpture. And now we've just had a demonstration by uh, Pat who has made these figureheads that are around here. So we just, I like to layer and layer and layer, not just a boat being built, 
and we've even got people coming in at two o'clock today uh, from St. Pete College. A bunch of singers that are going to sing sea chanties. So, music, saws, stuff on the floor, kids covered in paint. That's what I wanted. The other thing is, is that uh, every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights, we have uh, people come who are well known for whatever reason in the in the boat. They're either racers or they're builders or whatever. And we have uh, presentations or what we call conversations, really. And that's really worked well because some of these folks just haven't seen each other for years. And so they, they come and uh, go over all sorts of different subjects. So yeah, it's meeting my expectations. I just wish more people could get out and see and experience this because I think they would really enjoy it and learn some things too. So that's another aspect of it is learning. That's why we do all these different things. So that's a very long answer. Sorry. Thank you. No, thank you. Um, it's nice to see how the rich uh, <coughs> culture of the boats are represented here in the exhibit. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, I didn't want it to be just yachts. That's important. These are all work boats. We do have a section of a yacht in the back uh, to show how it's, you know, what the different construction methods are and how the wires go through it, plumbing and so on. So it does go from dugouts right up to contemporary boats. So, so do you think there's three is... of our painters right here? Hi guys. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is an exhibit that you'll bring back in the future? Um, no. 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 This is a one-time thing. The studio is, is what we try to do with the studio. We're a not-for-profit, and we try to bring communities of people together. Mm -hmm. um, and again, we, we also try to bring artists together. So folks who are making boats, there are also there's music to support it, there's model making to support it, there's all of these other skills and interests that, that are go hand in hand with it. So these, we're really trying to bring communities of this area together as much as we can. It's great to see how they're brought together when they're tied together by the appreciation of boats. Right, and, and I, you know, we have all ages here. These, um, we've got high school students working in the children's area, we've got children being children, and working on the boat in the back, and we've got retired folks learning how to build half models. That's what this is behind you is a class on a half model building. And that doesn't mean they're too lazy to build the other half. It's just <clears throat> if you build one half of a boat, the other side should, you know, will meet all the measurements of it. So. All right, well, thank you. And I can see that everybody really appreciates what you've done here. And um, everybody's learning a lot about the culture of boats. I hope so. so. Thank you. Thank you.